Morning, guys. Morning, morning. Grab a coffee, you guys, and let's get busy. Let's paint. So, uh, same as the last two weeks. I'm on swipes. I am debating veering off the swipes and moving into a different direction. Although I don't know what that direction is going to be, just as I didn't know what direction I was taking when I moved from blooms to swipes. But things are all starting to look the same in my brain. And it's always a good indicator that it's time for me to move forward into something else. So I have to give it some thought. I'm super stuck on the effects that the bloom technique makes and I really really like the swipes I just uh I get bored really easy sad to say all right I have several tiles left though that need a little bit of lipstick and rouge so let's do this Payne's gray this is a soft body acrylic uh mixed with pouring medium and that's all we're going to actually put that over there just in case we spin this is, let's do this one first. This is red oxide mixed with a little bit of Modern Masters burnt orange, just to give it a little bit of that metallic flavor to it. Uh, you know what this is. This is the best, the best ever. Lime green, electric lime green. It's actually Modern Masters, I think it's green apple mixed with Liquitex lime yellow oxide and this pretty metallic blue cobalt which is quite thick so maybe we should thin it down a little bit I just thin my paints generally with just water sometimes if I thin them more than once I'll put a little bit of polyacrylic and water in it because as we know water has no binder so if they kind of been sitting out um, yeah sometimes just the polyacrylic will help all right, let's do that. And then this one I used last night and I think it has a little bit of decor white satin enamel in it. And I need a stir stick. And obviously a little bit of green because it's kind of a pale mint color. Um, but I'm not, I'm just kind of flying blind that that's what that is. All right, you guys, I'm not going to use the copper and I have no cell mix out. Hmm. Well, okay, there's black. So let's swipe. Let's start with black. Let's give it a bit of a torch. My base coat is literally a third white satin enamel because that's all I had, not because of any other reason other than that. So one third white satin enamel, one third artist lot flow acrylic, and one third US flow troll, and a little bit of water. That's it. Okay, guys, here we go. This one. So my tile this morning is sitting up on two globs of modeling clay on top of this because I poured a funky cool piece last night, which I haven't even posted. Well, I maybe have posted now, but it was the one with the kind of a cute little inchworm going through, going through some leaves and I left it. And unfortunately, when I came out this morning, uh, most of it was sitting on the tile. So I was quite disappointed. And I thought, well, I got to do something because everything in my house is so lopsided. So I have done the same thing I do when I put resin down. I put all my tiles up on Play-Doh or modeling clay, whatever you want to call it. I level them all and then they're good to go. So this is only going to work in theory with this because as soon as I lift it, I'm not going to have the level level back again but it's theoretically it should be pretty level 
when I say that, I can see paint running on one corner. So I may have moved it when I stuck it down. All right, my friends, let's just kind of bring this out a tiny bit. I'm gonna tip it back to the center, but I think I'm gonna tip the entire table and leave the tile st stuck down for now. So let's move the entire spinning table. And I already know I have way, way too much paint on this. Guaranteed. Okay, let's give it a spin and see what happens. I put my wall up, I think. All right, guys, here we go. Let's move that. We're up to paint this tile four times over. I warn you now. she says. All right, well, my first wipe of the morning, I'm not going to say is a success. And I don't like anything about it. So good, a good test. You know what? Not all colors work well together, you guys. Some colors just do not play well. So let's take this off. handy dandy scraper. We're going to scrape this right off and into the plastic. We're going to ignore that horrid noise. to actually scoop this plastic right up because there's a fair amount of paint on it. The only thing that I then I then my tile's not going to be level. All right, well let's just do that for now and then I can scoop it up and put it back into my save for later pot of paint. And let's try again. Okay, so let's omit the raw sienna color because that didn't exact wasn't exactly complimentary this morning. All right, let's try this. Pain's gray. This strange deco art white satin enamel mixed with some color green color metallic blue cobalt by artist loft this is antique bronze by modern masters and let's put some lime in there All right, let's just try those colors together. Maybe a little bit of yellow, just to kind of cool down the bronze. That's my theory anyway. Okay, let's try this again, you guys. See, last night, 
Last night I could do no wrong. Every single thing I poured, I was happy with. And then today we're going to be back to like, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, my friends, here we go. Number one. Number two. So here's one thing I learned among the other things is if you Cut your paper with an X-Acto knife, you get a nice tidy edge. If you tear your edges, then you get a pretty little wispy edge. So it kind of gives you a bit of variety if you didn't, oh heavens, if you didn't want to have, a, uh, you know, a nice crisp edge, yeah, just tear it, tear the edge. Okay, well, let's keep swiping white since I poured, or black, since I poured a lot of it on the table now. And let's just go in here and break that up a little bit. I like to break all of this up and have a bit of space between. All right, well, let's have, see how this goes. Maybe not in my favor, but let's do it. Okay, well, let's just see what we can do with this. All right, guys, quick torch. Up a couple of these little freckle things right now. I hate the little white spots. Okay, that one definitely looks like a hummingbird. Look, it even has an eye. Okay, let's uh, spin them out a little bit, you guys. We're gonna spin gently and just see if we can stretch this guy out. Slowly, for now. It's interesting these pores. I either get, I either get birds or reptiles. Reptilian legs. Yeah, he definitely looks hummingbird-esque. Okay, let's do it. I need to take some paint off, but I don't really want to spin him anymore. So let's just help this out a little bit. Let's give him another twist, guys. Well, without putting a bunch of paint on, I don't really want to do, and I don't really want to spin them a whole lot more, but I have to do something. All right, let's put a little bit of paint. Well, oh, ho-hum, you guys. 
Oh, it's not too bad actually in the middle. Mm, it's a bit heavy there. Okay, we have to spin him. So there he is and he may be going right now. We're gonna keep just stretching him out slowly. And maybe we can keep some of him. Now he's getting fat. He's a fat hummingbird. Okay, well, we're starting to lose the hummingbird-esque look. So I think I'm just gonna scoop up some paint and put it on the corner. Right there. And we'll just pull it over. And then we're just gonna give it one more spin just to even that out and that's it. Okay, well, he still looks like a hummingbird. He's just not as thin as he started. He's a chunky hummingbird in the garden, but he's pretty fun. So I'm gonna give my hands a quick little dry off here and I will take you down to see him. Last night I was pouring bugs. Tonight I'm pouring birds. Today I'm pouring birds. All right, my friends. There, look at that. Tell me he doesn't look like a hummingbird. Sorry for the glare, guys, me standing right in the middle. I'm actually gonna turn this whole table around this way, and then I'll just put him like that. There we go, my friends. One little blue-green hummingbird on a weird-looking branch. All right, my friends, poor happy, stay safe. I am going to give one more tile a little coat of lipstick and rouge. And yeah, I'll be back shortly. All right, my friends, take care.